Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I wanted to take some time to review my Maxpedition Fat Boy pack, uh, which I keep inside my truck. Just got some tools, a um, bunch of extra little supplies. So stay tuned to view the contents. So as you guys get to know me and watch the channel, I like to know that I like to stay prepared. So this is a kit that I keep in my center console here. That carries a bunch of extra tools, everyday carry stuff, notebooks, pens, and just stuff to stay prepared. Okay guys, so breaking down this pouch, I realized that I misspoke. This is actually not the fatty, this is the beefy pouch. Um, so it just measures a little differently. At the bottom, it's six inches wide, it's eight inches tall, and it's two and a half inches thick, which is really nice. Um, you can actually, I tested this out, you can actually fit a full-size Glock 19 in here with a spare mag, and it fits just fine, closes just fine. So that's kind of a fun fact about this one. On the front here, you have a little bit of a Velcro pouch where you can stick a Velcro patch too, which is kind of cool. You also have this little webbing area, as you can see here. It's closed by Velcro, but you can stick stuff in there, which is kind of a cool little spot. You can't fit a ton if the pouch is pretty packed. Um, there's not a ton of room up here. It doesn't stretch or anything like that. So you're kind of limited to what you can hold up here. Um, so basically I just throw some EMT shears in here just to keep them quick and accessible. On the back, um, I keep a little carabiner on the grab handle here in case I want to hang it to something. It also has some molly here, or molly attachment points. Um, it's got three rows, um, basically four columns worth of molly so that you can flip it um, and put it onto like a pouch. You can attach it to the back of a seat organizer sometimes, like my truck is molly. Um, you can just kind of have different attachment points. I just like to keep this thing in my center console where it's easy um, to grab and to access. So moving on into the pouch, I think there's a lot of good things to carry, everyday carry wise, but I think oftentimes I overthink it and I pack my pockets pretty full. So this is kind of a tool bag, EDC bag that I just kind of keep in my truck with extra stuff um, that I don't want to fill my pockets with. So opening up, um, it quickly looks disorganized. Um, basically, I'll take some stuff out here so you guys can kind of see it a little bit better. On this side, there are some vertical webbing that are elastic. Um, it has four small webbing loops, and then it has two larger webbing loops in the back. It also has an elastic webbing loop right here where I keep my rat's tourniquet. And then on this side, similar idea, um, it has six of these super small ones that you can fit like pens in and then behind that it has three different sections with a little bit larger um, elastic webbing. So I'll start off with just on this side right here. Um, I keep a Kershaw tactical pen here. Um, these are kind of good for all weather use. Also has a window punch right here. It's made of really good metal. It basically has the pen on that side. Um, you can cover up glass breaker and write with this, which is always nice. I think it's nice to have a good writing utensil. I have a Stanley multi-tool. Basically this has a couple screwdriver bits. Um, right now it's got a Phillips bit. The size of this is pretty small. As you can see, they make a lot bigger bits, um, but this is kind of nice for like electronic equipment, um, pocket knives, stuff like that. You can do a lot with this tool. I also choose to carry a couple of these pens. Um, these are pretty cool. They're lumber crayons. So I have two in black, one in red, and one in yellow. Um, this was something back when I did um, some cert training. They always mentioned like if you were in a disaster and had to, you know, write notes on the front door of a house, these are really good to do, to do your quick triage. In the back here, um, you have another large pouch. Um, you could fit actually quite a bit back here. So what I chose to carry back here are a couple zip ties. Um, these are good if you go hunting, you can tie your tags to your animal. 
Um, they're just kind of good for miscellaneous things, um, cable management. You can kind of do a lot with zip ties. So I keep like six of them in here. And um, this is also where I kind of keep my uh, materials that I can write on. So I have just a notepad here, um, just to be able to draw pictures, draw floor plans, kind of get some ideas on paper that involve pictures. I like to do that. I have some index cards in case I need to write down information and give it to someone or just quickly have some sort of paper or fire starter material, you can use these. And then just a cheapo little flip pad just to take notes and then I can transfer them to something, a better notepad later on. So that's kind of what I keep there. It also has this little D-ring here where I keep a multi-tool. This is a little pry bar. It has different hex heads for different bolts. Um, try and move it over here, back here, so you can guys kind of see that. And then it also has a can opener here, which is nice. I also have just four handcuff keys on here. Um, those are always nice. Obviously, in case you have handcuffs, you use them at work or something like that. Or if you ever get kidnapped, it's nice to have one. And then I just keep these two little screwdriver bit things, but they're just little hand tool so this one's a uh, flathead this one's a phillips i just keep those little keychain tools back here as well moving on to the other side it's kind of where i keep more of my multi-tool stuff so i have a crkt spork in here it also has a few hex adapters if you have to undo a screw or something like that um has a nice little finger groove so if i had to use this as a weapon i could and then it has a bottle opener here. I keep a battery pack here. Um, this one has to be recharged, obviously. But I also keep an iPhone cord in here, as well as a charging block. This is always good if I travel, um, if I'm camping, stuff like that, I have to use that. I keep a deck of cards in here. I know it's kind of silly, um, but it's just nice if you're camping, if you're stuck in traffic, or like stuck on the side of the road, I mean you're able to kind of stay a little busy, pass some times. Um, if I'm at like a meeting somewhere or, you know, traveling, it's always nice to have that kind of thing. Then I just have this little hex tool. This one's by Blackburn. Um, I do mountain biking on my pastime. So uh, this is kind of nice as a bunch of different bits for attachment points on the bike and stuff like that, just to tighten um, like the handlebars down and stuff like that. And then I also have just kind of, it has two star bits, a flat head, and then a super small hex. So it's kind of nice. I also have more bits for Leatherman tools. Um, so this is from Leatherman. It's on this nice little flat organizing um, little caddy here. These are for the flat bits. Only some of their multi-tools use these flat ones. So for the other ones, um, I have the larger bits here. I can also use these with some other tools. It has, a, let's see here, three star bits. It has two hex ones and then a larger flat head, which is kind of nice. For smaller set of tools, I have just a glasses kit, which has just a glass cleaner, a um, couple glass pieces for your glasses. If you have sunglasses, prescription glasses, whatever a little magnifying glass, and then like the little tiny itty bitty bits. It comes with three of those screwdrivers. Those are nice for like electronics, pocket knives sometimes have little screws. Um, so it's just kind of have nice to have those. You don't use them all the time, but when you need them. I carry the Leatherman Juice in a dark blue, and I carry the Leatherman Micra in a dark blue. This one, the Juice, is a very simple tool they make. It has a bottle opener, a can opener, um, it has a cork screw, and then it also has a set of scissors on it. Um, just a very simple little tool. The Micra is a pair of little scissors. This is one of my favorite tools. Honestly, it's not the most comfortable tool, but it works. It has a good pair of scissors. It has a good little tiny knife to it. Um, it has like a leather letter opener flat head and then it also has another bottle opener um, never know what you're going to need when you're camping and stuff like that 
I also have one of their Leatherman knives, just as an extra pocket tool. I generally carry one on my person at all times. Um, cool thing about this one is it was actually engraved um, by the guy that created and founded Leatherman, which I think is really cool. So that one's kind of sentimental. So I thought where better to put it than in my EDC kit. I carry a Leatherman rail in here. This is one of their AR tools. So it has a bunch of tools for AR maintenance, AR cleaning, um, some sight tools. And it comes on this carabiner too. Um, it's just kind of made of metal, which is really nice. So this is good when I go to the range just to have a tool in my truck in case I need it on top of the tools in my gear bag. And then I just have a simple Leatherman Rev, which is just one of their basic Leathermans, um, but it at least will do something on the job or out on the road, just kind of in the truck, good little beat around tool that I can use. It has pliers, it has wire cutters, um, it has an array of tools here. It's got a file, flathead, letter opener. And then on the other side, it just has a Phillips and a flathead screwdriver. So very, very simple tool, but just a good one just to keep in a truck for maintenance. I have a little tiny pry bar. Um, for some reason, I just have a fascination with pry bars. I just really like them. This is just a tiny one. Um, honestly, don't know how durable it is, but... It was just kind of a little cheapo one I got on Amazon, so I like to just keep it in here. And then I have a rat's tourniquet. Um, I know there's going to probably be a lot of comments on this. Rat's tourniquets are not the best. There's a lot of complaints about these. Um, a lot of people think that they do more damage than they do good. People think that they don't work effectively. Um, I have different med kits in my truck that have better tourniquets. This is just kind of an extra one I had laying around, so I thought it's better to have something to, than not have one at all. Um, so that would be kind of a last resort, but in the case that I needed one, I would have one in there. I definitely struggle um, with everyday carry kits with putting too much in them. Um, so I've definitely gone through a couple layouts of this.
Thank you.